Hi, this is Donna with His Truth Be Told Ministries. We're here for our morning reading of the Bible. I am currently reading from the third year of our three-year plan. If you have any comments or a verse that stood out to you, please put it in the comment section. Today we are in Jeremiah. We'll be reading chapter 40. Um, the word which came to Jeremiah from the Lord after Nebuzaradan, captain of the bodyguard, had released him from Ramah, when he had taken him bound and chains among all the exile of Jerusalem and Judah, who were being exiled to Babylon. Now the captain of the bodyguard had taken Jeremiah and said to him, The Lord your God promised this calamity against this place, and the Lord has brought it on and just as he promised, because you people sinned against the Lord and did not listen to his voice, therefore this thing has happened to you. But now, behold, I am freeing you today from the chains which are on your hands. If you would prefer to come with me to Babylon, come along and I will look after you. But if you would prefer not to come with me to Babylon, never mind. Look, the whole land is before you. Go wherever it seems good and right for you to go. As Jeremiah was still not going back, he said, Go on back then to get Eliah, the son of Ahikam, the son of Shaphan, whom the king of Babylon had has appointed over the cities of Judah, and stay with him among the people, or else go anywhere it seems right for you to go. So the captain of the bodyguard gave him a ration and a gift and let him go. Then Jeremiah went to Mizpah to get Eliah, the son of Ahikam, and stayed with him among the people who were left in the land. Now all the commanders of the forces that were in the field, they and their men, heard that the king of Babylon had appointed Gedaliah, the son of Ahikam, over the land, and that he had put him in charge of the men, women, and children, those of the poorest of land who had not been exiled to Babylon. So they came to Gedaliah at Mitzpah, along with Ishmael, the son of Nethaniah, and Johanan, and Jonathan, the sons of Korea, and Sariah, the sons of Tanhumath, and the sons of Ephi, the Nedophathite, and Jezaniah, the son of the Maacathite, both they and their men. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then Gedaliah, the son <clears throat> of Ahikam, the son of Shaphan, swore to them and to their men, saying, Do not be afraid of serving the Chaldeans. Stay in the land and serve the king of Babylon, that it may go well with you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now as for me, behold, I am going to stay at Mitzvah to stand for you before the Chaldeans who come to us. But as for you, gather in wine and summer fruit and oil, and put them in your storage vessels, and live in your cities that you have taken over. Likewise, also, all the Jews were who were in Moab among the sons of Ammon and in Edom and who were in all the other countries heard that the king of Babylon had left a remnant for Judah and that he had appointed over them Gedaliah the son of Ahikam the son of Shaphan. Then all the Jews returned from all the places to which they had been driven away and came to the land of Judah to Gedaliah at Mizpah and gathered in wine and summer fruit in great abundance. Now Johanan, the son of Korea, and all the commanders of the forces that were in the field came to Gedaliah at Mitzpah and said to him, Are you well aware that Baalus, the king of the sons of Ammon, has sent Ishmael, the son of Nathaniah, to take your life? But Gedaliah, the son of Ahikam, did not believe them. Then Johanan, the son of Korea, spoke secretly to Gedaliah at Mitzpah, saying, let me go and kill Ishmael, the son of Nathaniah, and not a man will know. Why should he take your life, so that all the Jews who are gathered to you would be scattered, and the remnant of Juno would perish? But Gedaliah, the son of Ahikam, said to Johanan, the son of Korea, Do not do this thing, for you are telling a lie about Ishmael. Um, verse that... Um, stood out to me was verse four but now behold i am freeing you today from the chains which are on your hands if you would prefer to come with me to babylon come along and i will look after you but if you would prefer not to come with me to babylon never mind 
Look, the whole land is before you. Go wherever it seems good and right for you to go. Wow. Well, I want to say thank you for uh, joining me uh, to read God's word. It has been my pleasure to read along with you. To get a copy of this reading plan and many others, please visit HisTruthBeTold.org. There you will also find the studies we are uh, currently offering as well as other items of interest. Last but not least, please hit the like and subscribe buttons to be notified of new content. Have a great day in the Lord.